homage to Kung Tu Zing Po for directly showing awakened awareness in itself. Those individuals who fear death and rebirth in samsara in the depths of their hearts should dwell in an isolated place in the mountainous regions conductive to pleasant experiences. They will come to realize the universal ground and make a close to the heart determination about awakened awareness. The king of awakened awareness, which is co-emergent with the universal ground, is profound and is a rare jewel that is difficult and subtle to realize. Thus, special means are taught for the realization. On this path, the special means is distinguishing between ordinary mind and awakened mind itself. Begin with the essential points of the body posture, then restraining the horse of the winds is like restraining a horse of the energy currents. Establishing the gateways of the lamps, especially the eye lamps in their own way. The pith instructions for distinguishing between ordinary mind and awakened mind itself are as follows. There is no analysis of external perceptions. There is no examination of internal thought. Do not chase after what has come previously or what might come subsequently. Demonstrating the full measure of the distinction between ordinary mind and awakened mind itself occurs through dissolving the residual obscurations in the domain of space, such that what remains is the brightness of awakened awareness as clear light. By removing the outer layer of conceptual thought, awakened awareness arises nakedly. By purifying the mass of clouds of conceptual thought, primordial wisdom is no longer covered by obscurations. Realizing the distinction between ordinary mind and awakened mind itself has four features. It is absent of conceptual thought. It becomes the universal ground. It is neutral, and it is the source of all potential occurrences in an unobstructed manner. Additionally, these four are the features of the universal ground and awakened mind itself. Yet whatever arises as recollections and ordinary mindfulness is liberated in a relaxed state. If established this way, it becomes mixed back into the universal ground. This is how ordinary conceptual thought and mind become liberated. Make a close to the heart determination about the distinction between ordinary mind and awakened mind itself as follows. By means of the three kinds of restraints, you let go of bodily distraction. Also by means of the three kinds of ways of relaxing, the mind's conceptual thought, it is brought into its natural condition. By means of the three skillful means to set up, you recognize awakened awareness in its own place. By means of the three ways of not engaging, habitual karmic propensities are interrupted. By means of the three ropes of mindfulness, you extend the degree of familiarity. By means of the three secret means, you protect the ultimate realization from ways of being spoiled. By means of the three visions, you purify the liveliness of awakened awareness. By means of the three liberations, you become decisively free of duality. By means of the three non-obscurations, you reach the full measure of the fruition. This completes the nail of realizing the universal ground, Samaya.